We'd like to welcome you to Down Home Christmas with the Troy Burns family. I'm Troy. This is my beautiful wife, Tammy. Are we the Burnses? We are the Troy Burns family. Right here in front of our beautiful yes. fireplace. Good and warm. It is beautiful. And we have some, what do we have for them tonight? Some great Christmas music that we're going to sing for you. And I tell you, it is going to be great. And you know what? We want to tell you the true meaning of Christmas. And that is about Jesus' birth and Him coming to earth to die for my sins and for your sins. And we're going to have some funny stories. Yes, and some stories that maybe not need to be told, but we're going to do it anyway. Probably not, but uh, we're going to tell them and have fun anyway. That's right. You enjoy. Love incarnate, love divine Star and angels gave the sign Bow to babe on bended knee Savior of humanity Unto us a child is born he shall reign forevermore. No. Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. favorite memories oh, from okay. uh, Christmas as a kid. I was about four or five years old, I think, Tammy. And uh, of course, we, we lived in the Smoky Mountains in Bryson City. We just didn't have a lot of monetary stuff. But I remember distinctly one Christmas, 
I was just a kid, but on Christmas Eve, I heard reindeer on the roof. Uh oh. And all of a sudden, after I heard the reindeer, Santa Claus stuck his head in the front door. Wow, you're special. And, and he laughed, ho, ho, ho. And the next thing I knew, he was pushing in a little blue pedal car just for me that Christmas. And with a ho, 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 and Merry Christmas, he just disappeared into thin air. I bet you thought you'd die and go to hell. Listen, I, it just amazed me uh, as a kid to have Santa Claus and have the reindeer come to our house at Christmas. So that's one of the things that really sticks on my mind for Christmas. That is awesome. You know, you. I want to tell my favorite thing that I got for Christmas one year. Okay. But the thing was, we went to Florida the day of Christmas every year. So you didn't get to spend Christmas at I home. spent Christmas at home when I turned 18. Wow. I was there until then. But that year, I got a mini bike. Okay. And, and I loved motorcycles, mini bikes. You know that. Mm-hmm. I loved it. And you know what I had to do right after getting that present? I had to get in the car with my two big brothers right beside me, sitting in the middle and drive to Florida, two days worth back then, to Miami. And then we'd go on to Key West and we'd watch the Orange Bowl in Miami and all that mess. But I wanted to be home with my mini bike. I know that doesn't sound, that sounds trivial, but to me, that was a big thing when I was growing up as a child. It almost makes me cry <laughs> because I didn't have a mini bike. You was glad. I think y'all didn't even have a car, did you? No, we all rode bicycles. Well, you had a bicycle. We that had was good. three bicycles. Mama rode one, I rode one, and Daddy rode one. We drove them to church, and that, that's the truth. You drove them? With my hand up. <laughs> We, we drove those bicycles to church and back. That's you were poor, were weren't you? But yeah, we were poor, but that is a sad story that you didn't get to spend Christmas at all. Yeah, but, well, I mean, yeah, I would have yeah. enjoyed that, but that's when my parents wanted to go, so that's when we went. Awesome. The hard thing, my brother started getting to stay home, but I had to go till I was 18. But you know what? Christmas, I love it. I love it. I love it. We always made it so, so special at our home. I'm going to take just a second and tell you guys about this next song. It's one of my favorites that we do for Christmas. It's entitled, He Is. And the chorus says, He is the gift and the giver. And I love the second verse of this song because it says, Closed in fragile flesh and blood, 
fully man, yet fully God. And it really humbles me to think that we serve a Savior who would humble himself and clothe himself in human flesh, but yet he's still fully God this whole time. Uh, he suffers the pain that we endure probably more than we endure ourselves just because he loves us so much. And I pray that you know that love that he has for you. And if not, reach out to somebody and make that known. Uh, and please enjoy this next song. Child asleep upon the straw Light that brought salvation's dawn Music of the angel song He is He is We have enjoyed Christmas more than probably any time of the year because all our family would get together. And the last Christmas, you remember the last Christmas that my mother was alive? I remember that. We woke up to eight to 10 inches of snow on the mountain. <laughs> I'm from the backwoods, okay, where my mother lived. And it was a beautiful snow, but there was something that happened that just completely threw my mother for a loop. The power went out. And you know what she couldn't do? What couldn't she do, Troy? She could not not feed everybody oh, and my cook goodness. for everybody. Yes, on she loved to cook. And it wasn't just two or three things, oh. it was a feast. So you know what she did? She called all over our county and found people that could have that did have power. And she took the food to those different places and she cooked our Christmas meal. But you know, that's a memory that will always be embedded in my mind. You know, the next song I'm going to sing to you talks about um, where you are with the Son of God. It talks about our loved ones that they're with Jesus now. And 
I am just so thankful that I know my mom, my mother is with Jesus and that she is sitting right there around the throne this Christmas. And so I pray that this song can bring healing to your heart and that you will just uh, listen to the words. I'm not gonna lie, Christmas really hurts this time, cause you're not here to celebrate with me. Tears fill my eyes, and memories flood my mind, as I place your ornament upon our Remember where you are You're with the Son of God You're with the Prince of Peace You're with the one we're celebrating And that thought amazes me Sometimes I still break down Grieving that we're apart Son of God Got your picture in a frame And a stocking with your name Oh, God knows it's been hard letting go I can't bring you back But I'll see Christmas time is such a special time for me with such memories of my childhood. My mom was only 17 when I was born at home in a two-room log cabin. We lived in poverty, but mom always made Christmas special for us. 
in that old two-room log cabin. I had the wonderful privilege of revisiting that cabin recently, and here's what I experienced. The few planks that remained looked like the ribs of a hungry wolf trying to encase the precious memories from within. Honeysuckle vines crawl through these oak planks in their quest to choke the last remaining life from that old cabin. The front porch where we used to sing the hymns and read the Bible has long since given way to saplings and just a hint of a foundation. But the melodies are still fresh in my mind. A heritage of tunes from Ireland and Scotland and the Appalachian Mountains. The roof is completely gone now and the old stone fireplace in the living room stands as a sentinel to the scattered chestnut boards where the floor had been. The cracks in the walls of my bedroom are now covered with moss, but my mind travels back to my childhood days when the winter storms howled through these cracks. And at night, my toes were bent down beneath the weight of many of Mama's handmade quilts. I close my eyes and I can still feel that chill. I can smell the bacon. I can smell the hickory fire. Great lessons of life were taught in this old cabin. Character, forgiveness, love, that indelible chain that binds us all together. This old cabin reminds me as one season of our lives gives way to another, the most important thing in your life, other than a relationship with Jesus Christ, is service to another human being. For in doing so, we reflect the philosophy of our Creator, and we fulfill the very reason we exist. Seeing this dilapidated cabin brings back the precious memories in my mind of my childhood and the great Christmas moments spent there. Mary, did you know your baby boy would one day on water? Mary, did you know your baby boy would save us? Has come to make you new this child that you did will soon deliver you. Oh Mary, did you know your baby boy would give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you Did you know your baby boy has walked where angels trod? And when you kiss your little baby, you've kissed the face of God. The blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead.
is the great I am. Hey, I'm Mark. I'm the newest member of the Troy Burns family. Thank you for joining us here with Down Home Christmas. Uh, I got this next song I wanted to introduce to you. It's Strange Way to Save the World. And the thing I love about this song is just the title says everything. It's, it's such a strange way to save the world. When you think about a, a president or a king coming to town, you just see the red carpet and the bodyguards and people are everywhere. And, and that's not the way the Lord did it. It says over in Isaiah 55 that your ways are not my ways and my thoughts are not your thoughts. And the Lord just didn't set it up that way. I mean, it, it was a strange way to save the world. And I just love this song. I hope it speaks to you. Sure, you must have been surprised And where this road had taken me Cause never in a million lives Would he have dreamed of Bethlehem Standing at the manger, he saw with his own eyes the message from the angel come to life. And Joseph said, Why oh, me? I'm just a simple man of trade, and why him with all the rulers in the world? Inside this stable filled with hay And why her? She's just an ordinary girl And now I'm not one to second guess What angels have to say But this is such a strange way To say the word I remember one of my favorite times when I was a kid. Uh, we lived in the Smoky Mountains of North Carolina, and uh, uh, we were just as, as they say up there, we were as poor as Job's turkey. 
That's the truth. Raised in the Smoky Mountains. And uh, my mom always did something special for Christmas. She would string up popcorn, stuff that didn't cost anything. She would read me uh, the, the Christmas story. I mean, she always made Christmas a special, special time. Well, I remember one year seeing my dad and my grandpa made moonshine. Uh oh. And so one year, right before Christmas, they bought up all this stuff to make moonshine and they bought twice as much. They spent all their money on buying up twice as much stuff so they could sell more moonshine so we'd have a big Christmas and make a lot of money. Well, whatever they do to make that, when they bought their stuff, it all went bad. And they didn't have anything to sell for Christmas. So here we were with zero money at Christmas time. But my mom, bless her heart, she made the most of it. And she made it an enjoyable time for our house and for the kids and for everybody there. And I just, that's one of the things in my mind that sticks out about my childhood at Christmas. We were poor, didn't have anything, but mama made it very, very special to us. Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shining afar through shadows dim, giving a light for those who have gone, and guiding the wise men on their way into the place where Jesus lay. about you, Troy, but I have enjoyed this past really hour. Have. It's been fun. I tell you, we have enjoyed singing for you, and I, I pray and hope that you have a blessed Christmas. And you know what? Christmas is for everyone. So go out and enjoy your family and just have a great time this year. we
everyone. Christmas is for everyone. It's a time of giving and a holiday fun. I'm glad Christmas is for everyone. The folks up north like snow in the air, slipping and a sliding everywhere. The folks down south like it out in the sun. Christmas is for everyone. Christmas is for everyone. Christmas is for everyone. It's a time of giving and a holiday fun. I'm glad Christmas is for everyone. The East and the West Coast both agree. It's so much better when you're by the sea. The plains get windy, so I am told. Here in the mountains we like it cold Christmas is for everyone Christmas is for everyone It's a time of giving and a holiday fun I'm glad Christmas is for everyone Christmas is for everyone Christmas is for everyone It's a time of giving and a holiday fun I'm glad Christmas is for everyone Christmas and the holiday fun Christmas is for everyone